Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Smojo, and welcome to the first episode of Wizard 101's Rares Gear. This is basically a series where I go out and I try to find some of the best looking gear in Wizard 101, and I make a video on it. That's pretty much it. Keep in mind that each piece of gear that will be showcased on this series will be completely free. If you can farm it, if you can fish it, if, if it drops from a boss or a mob or anything like that, if you can craft it, it will be here on this series meaning you don't have to worry about no crown shop you don't have to worry about no packs you don't have to worry about no bundles don't worry brother you ain't gotta go in that wallet i got you bro i got you completely free gear i've done intensive research on the uh, wizard 101 wikipedia and i just i went through hundreds and hundreds of pages of gear and i created a nice nice list of all the good looking gear in my personal opinion that i will be showcasing on this series however disclaimer most of the pieces of gear I actually do not have. So if you guys wanna help me out with this series, join the Discord server. I have a list of gear that I don't have. And if you have it, I want you in one of my videos. So if you guys wanna help out with the series, anything like that, you know, join the Discord server, look at the list and say, hey, I have that piece of gear. Let me, let me, let me tell Smojo so that he knows so that we can make a video together and do this, you know? But yeah, with all that aside, let's go ahead and get started with the first episode of Wizard 101's Rarest Gear. For this episode, we're gonna be looking at the Big Sky outfit. The Big Sky outfit is level 66 robe that is home to Zafaria. It really has a nice foresty feel to it, if you know what i mean there's a few things about this robe that i particularly love um and and i feel like this robe can really work in a lot of people's stitches in a really good way the biggest thing one of the biggest things that stands out about this robe versus other robes is its patterns it has a nice square pattern and it also has a nice triangle pattern on the robe. that's two different shapes man on one robe now there's two ways to get this robe but the first way is you can actually farm this robe for mobs in zafara there's plenty of mobs that drop this robe in zafara one of those mobs being as i gotta i gotta i gotta, I gotta go back and and look at its name real quick the gorilla spider witch okay that's, that's that's just one of the mobs there's about eight or so out there or the easier way is just buying it in the bazaar for like a, a few hundred or maybe a few thousand that thousand gold you know that's, that's, that's absolutely the easiest way i De definitely go that route one thing about this robe is that it's completely dyeable you could choose the same color secondary primary or you could you know switch it up a little bit you know what i mean for you know multi-color action you know uh another thing about this robe it does have a permanent light brown color across the entire robe which isn't a problem if that's something that you're looking for considering you can have three different colors on one robe really opens up a lot of options for stitches that have different colors in them you know what i mean two colors might be a little bit a little bit on the lower side you need three you know put a little bit of light brown in that guy you feel me here's an example of a stitch that i put together using this robe it's nothing special of course i, I probably took like three or four minutes of my day making this so don't expect anything great but i am actually pleased with the way that this came out considering that i kind of it's just put random gear together dyed it the same color and called it a day if you're actually interested in the gear that i am using for this stitch i'm basically just using a bone masher to ride a little co uh, cowl i probably said that com completely wrong and for my boots i'm using the halloween shoes as for the wand this is one of my favorite wands by the way i just love the fact that it's black and white i love it but the wand is called the stave of dread righteous i definitely set that wrong but yeah this is one of the better looking robes in my opinion mainly because of the theme that it gives any creativity that is possible with this robe considering the shapes and the the, the in, in considering the color scheme that you could have with this robe you don't have to do black white and brown you could do red blue brown yellow black brown you know what i mean you can really switch it up with this robe and have some creative styles with it which is one of the main reasons why i put this robe on this series i, I really really like it i'm pretty sure somebody out there can make an even better stitch than i did in three to four minutes and really make this robe pop the way that it's supposed to you know what i mean uh get a nice staff with it some boots some hats you know anything like that i think would be absolutely amazing but yeah if you guys are interested in this robe at all or how to get it more details about it uh you know feel free to leave a comment down below or maybe just hop in a discord server i'll answer any questions that you guys have at all about the robe but yeah if you guys like the video don't forget to you know actually like the video and uh don't forget to subscribe you know what i mean come hang out with us on every single video that we have from now on you know but yeah other than that i'll see you guys in the next video and you guys have a great day peace out everybody